so that is awesome. So my tallest sunflower at the moment is currently sitting nine and a half feet, 10 and a half feet if you measure it from the ground since it is in a foot raised bed. Either way, I do have a sunflower that you can't see in vision. I've showed you guys it the last few weeks. It is a younger sunflower. Like I planted this one, I believe a month later. Either way, I will show you the size comparison in the foliage, but I swear this one is going to be bigger. So I wanted to track how tall my current tallest ones were for the fact they are actually starting to form their flowers finally. So once they start forming those flowers and they get really heavy, they're probably going to droop quite a bit, but those are some really tall sunflowers. I absolutely love them. They are absolutely so magical. This is the first time I've had success with Russian mammoths. And I must say, I am so obsessed with them. Either way, this morning, okay, so it's kind of a nice, cool morning. I am wearing a sweater and it is mid-July in Kansas, which is so bizarre. But we had a ton of wind the last few days and I'm really happy to see all my sunflowers made out of it. Some of the sunflowers are like, really fallen over. I don't really have any of them staked. I do have a few stakes beside them, but they're not really tied up or anything because the bases of these are insane as well. I'll show you that too. Uh, today is a beautiful morning because we had a cool front come in. Long story short, you don't really care about the weather, but it's a beautiful morning. I'm currently wearing a sweater and I have a ton of garden work that needs to be done. So I figured I'm probably not going to be lucky with a morning or day without humidity or coolness in probably a few more months. So I need to make the best out of today and really bust my butt. I need to move some compost. I need to mulch some things. I also need to harvest some things. So we have a busy morning ahead, but I must say that's super cool. I am gonna go ahead and move this ladder over to my tomatoes first because I really got a prune my tomatoes and they are so tall as well that I need a ladder. So honestly, I think I'm gonna measure those as well, but yeah. All right, so this is the size of the foliage of my tallest current sunflower that you guys just saw, okay? Now, <laughs> let's look at this monster over here because look at the size of that. And that is literally every single leaf. This one is thriving so i originally put this terracotta steak and wine bottle for you that do not know or haven't seen i actually need to fill this up so good reminder um i put this out the moment i planted alongside when i planted that one to have an experiment to see if they really do work as they claim and honestly i've had some pretty good success so far so here is the update <laughs> you can see this one's alive and thriving this one's a good honestly probably a foot and a half shorter it's kind of hard to tell just because they are at a slant when it's on video but it's crazy the difference i'm sure you can tell more in the base so here is the base of this one and now here is the base of that one just a lot smaller it keeps just having a really hard time with disease no matter what and this one again haven't had a single problem at least on every one of my other sunflowers i've had to at least cut off some of the foliage i haven't had to cut off any of this foliage like this one's been alive thriving and just having a good time all right looky there i had two of these guys on my dill um, and then out of nowhere they disappeared in the afternoon yesterday they were there yesterday morning and if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been showing you updates every day. This is a different guy. This one is definitely smaller. So I'm almost thinking maybe birds found it and started to move them because I did see a third and then the third disappeared. And this one looks like it could potentially have been the third because the third was a lot smaller. 
Either way, I need to move this guy over to my dill. Because I don't want him over by my tomatoes. I've been checking for hornworms, especially since I've been seeing these. Okay, so this is a black swallowtail. And I have been seeing them fly around. And apparently they like to feed on dill. So I'm going to move him back over to the dill. I don't know if he was over there or not, but we're going to move him back over there. Because I don't want him near my tomatoes. Come on. I really don't want to touch you. Yeah, look at these horns that they bring out when they're like feeling attacked. Crazy. Come on. You're not being attacked. I'm trying to move you to a better home. Come on. I really don't want to pick you up. It's your favorite food. I'm trying to help you. Come on. I don't want to touch you, man. Oh, no. Okay, I got my garden gloves. You guys, I am a wimp. I don't like to touch things like this, even though I know they won't hurt me. Come on, little dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. We got him. Do, 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 do. By the way, guys, do you see this dill? This dill is insane. He's like, I don't know about this lady. Okay, yep, this is this is great. Thanks for moving me. I am on a mission. It may not seem like it to you guys, but I've been at this for about four hours now and it's starting to get quite warm and I'm starting to get quite hungry for lunch. So I think I'm going to leave you guys here on this note. I hope you enjoy hanging out with me uh, while I do all the garden things this morning. It was quite the nice morning, I must say. But I'll see you guys all next week for the July garden tour. Bye.